a marketing rebel, a marketing rebel. Hey, if you had a great idea that you knew was that next million dollar idea, of course you have, right? You wouldn't be watching this otherwise. So here's how to improve your chances of not failing. But first, what I need you to do is hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So let's assume you have a million dollar idea that will put you on the map. You're all excited to discuss the idea with someone and get positive feedback, right? You start to dig in and really explore it further just to see how profitable the idea will be. You do all that without reflecting on the data, knowing that the idea is just too good to pass up, right? You gotta go all in. A few months down the road and you're feeling a little uneasiness, starts to creep in on you, right? You remain positive that the results will come, still overlooking the importance of data. Well, a few more months go by and you're at a point where you're ready to really kind of give up or reassess your idea. Certainly, you have already invested a significant period, right? Of time and, and money into this. And giving up now would just kind of seem illogical, right? Well, you have an expert go through the data and end up finding out that the idea was anything but good. The numbers don't add up and you can only expect to make enough to recover your investment, that's it. So while you could have experienced worse, all the positivity and vibes that you had for the idea has vanished and if you had only looked at that data when you had the chance. So today, it doesn't have to be that way. Today we live in a data-driven world where you can maximize your chances of success. So if you're launching a product, you can reverse engineer the numbers to support it to show whether revenue would be coming in or going out. Only then are you able to move forward with the idea once you understand that. So you can do this with a simple spreadsheet and basic financial modeling. Yet a lot of entrepreneurs avoid it. The data, especially today, is your friend. You know, it acknowledges what works and what doesn't. It also supports the decision-making process for the rest of your life, right? Through the use of data, you can discover critical pieces of information such as how many clients you will need to generate, the kind of revenue you are targeting per day, per week, month, and year. When you will hit your break-even point, how much you should price your product at, what kind of profit you can expect over the next quarter or year. How many leads are needed to get moving, right? So based on these important pieces of information, you can decide whether the model is something to work with or whether it's not, right? Whether your business idea will take off or not. It's just the start, right? It's just the start of it. But as my good friend Mark Evans DM says, data, not drama. So we, we make many decisions in business, but we have to make sure that we're making those decisions from the right perspective. It comes down to making decisions based on logic not emotions, right? It's something I've done a lot in the past and something we all do. I've made those emotional decisions. But you get super excited about working on an idea just to step back and realize it wasn't going to make you any money. You have to look at the data and know if the numbers are going to work out. For a business to work, what do the numbers have to look like? What does the data have to flow like in order to create a profitable business? A business only works when you're focused on the data. However, a lot of people run a business based on emotions. They tend to skip over the steps of running a financial model. And really that financial model lets you rely on the, the data and get a clearer picture of what you're hoping to accomplish. Now, breaking down a business idea into its various data points gets the clearest idea of where you're, of what we're doing. So break it down into how many clients, leads, et cetera. It's a whole process, but it gives you an idea of how the business will turn out. And when we're starting with a new business idea, it's easy to get fired up and make decisions based on your gut. It's an instinctive decision and not a data-driven decision. So with bubbling feelings of excitement, it's easy to get carried away and create a business that sounds great in theory, but it's terrible in practice. So as a marketer, you have paid traffic, sales phone on a certain matrix with every step. These can include your cost per click, the conversion rate on the landing page, the cost per lead, the cost for having a sales call, and so much more, all these different points, right? So having all that information allows you to make smart decisions and take actions that will generate your revenue and ultimately success. Now, I use an internal sheet with all the data points to make decisions. There's software that'll help, help you do this as well. But when I look at these numbers, I can identify the weaknesses and I can take whatever action is necessary. Now, a lot of people tend to go on their gut feelings. They end up making a few emotional decisions and in a few months end up in a completely different direction than the one they originally intended. It's also true when people copy business practices and decisions, right? From what they see online, they see someone else doing something. Just because it's working for them 
does not mean the same for you, right? So the exact same practices and methods that worked for someone else could bring your business to the brink of bankruptcy. People's emotions get the better of their judgment and what they what may shine isn't always gold, right? So a model that works successfully for someone else may not fetch me or you the same kind of success, right? Because there's a lot more that goes on behind the curtains and people tend to overlook those matters. So we only get to see the professionally painted picture and are amused easily, right? To us, it would feel like, wow, man, I'm doing that as well. All the chaotic matters that take take place behind the scenes are neither advertised nor made public and for good reasons too, right? So if these matters were to find themselves open to the public, almost every business in existence would go down. People end up losing their invest, investors' trust, see their stocks fall, and most certainly struggle to gain a new client moving forward. Now, the part of the story that remains hidden, and the most of us tend to overlook that aspect, it is only after we apply these methods that we realize just how insane the problems are, but by then, it would already be too late. So, with all that said, it's important that all emotional decisions are best left outside the door. There's simply no room for emotions or emotion-based decisions in the world of entrepreneurship. Always look at the data. The numbers will never lie to you, even when your emotions might. So look at what your numbers are reflecting and then proceed towards making the kind of decisions that help you move forward successfully. Hey, if you gain value from this video, do me a favor. Like, comment, and share. Thank you.